Hello everybody, welcome to Country Girl. My name is Kathy Jarvis and today we're in the kitchen. And it's a beautiful day outside so I really don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen. But I got all these apples that I need to do something with. So I am going to sh share with you today my recipe for how I freeze apples to use them for apple pies. Once you get this together, all you have to do is get your crust and put the apples in it and bake them. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is start peeling some apples. Okay, the first thing I do is I core my apples and I use this juicer instead of buying an apple core and I just push it in halfway turn the apple upside down push it in halfway pull it back out take my thin fingers and push the core out usually <laughs> this is a thicker apple up oh, didn't mean to go that far and it pulls the core out simple as that Take your knife and push it out and then push the rest of the core through. You got a clean core all the way through. Next I peel them I usually use about four to five apples per pie. next thing I'll do is slice them. Now you can slice them by hand or you can slice them with a um, slicer or if you're going to do a lot of them you can just put them in the food processor. Now I put my apples in some lemon juice. There's lemon juice in the bottom. I twirl around in that and that helps keep them from turning dark while I'm working. Now this, they say these are okay. I had some that have this. I usually don't use them like this. Um, they say this is caused by the um, skin bleeding into the um, flesh of the apple. And they say it's actually quite normal for Macintosh apples to do this. My food processor has a slice, dice, mix, and puree setting. Um, it has different blades inside. You put the blade in. If it set, I want the slice, so it says slice here at the top. So I'll put the blade in so at the top, so I can read it says slice at the top. Put it in. This is my where I feed the, sh the apples through. So we will yeah, I've cut them in half. They 
just won't quite fit. All right, put the apple into the chute. Turn on the slice. And I have my sliced apples. He's not happy. And that is my sliced apples. Now, next thing I'm going to do is add, take this apart. Oops. Now be careful your blades because they will be sharp. Next thing I'm going to do is add just a little bit more lemon juice to this whole <laughs> All right. Now I need a plastic bag. Okay, add one fourth cup of apple juice to your apples. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. lost the lid on the black surface. All right, now if you're going to put this into a regular Ziploc bag, you can put all this directly into the bag. But I'm going to use a freezer bag, um, vacuum sealer bag, so I don't, I don't want to put it in until I'm ready. So what I'm doing is I'm going to mix a 3 fourths cup of sugar and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon 
and put that in a bowl. Three tablespoons of flour. And if you had this in the um, bag, you could just stir, you know, shake the bag around until you get everything mixed up. But since I'm doing it this way, we're going to stir it until it's all mixed. Okay, we got that mixed. Let's see, the other thing we do now is we're going to add the apples to this sugar and mix them all up. I actually kind of prefer to do it this way. That way I make sure all my apples are completely um, covered with the sugar and stuff and everything's mixed really well. There's no lumps. Now, at this point, you could put it directly into a pie shell and bake it. Or you can put it into a gallon freezer bag and add, forgot how much butter, yeah, two tablespoons of butter to this, and just, I usually cut the butter up into small little pieces, and you can put it in the freezer, then when you get ready to bake your pie, you just simply open it up, and put it in your pie dish, thaw it out just a little bit, so that you can um, make it, but I've also found that if I put the the bag into the pie plate, then it will, and then fill it, it takes the shape of the pie, and then that helps to um, get the right size. This can be frozen for up to a year. It's best to use it within six months, but it can be used frozen for up to a year. So, I'll show you how we freeze it in just a second. Okay, now we got our apples all mixed together. We got the um, butter in there. We just simply spoon them into your bag. Try not to get anything on the outside. I find that if I fold it over like this, it helps keep the edge. It's going to be sealed cleaner. Just scoop them in. I like to get the bag as flat as possible. Takes up less room in the freezer that way. And pour in the juices. If you have a funnel, this helps. sides. Okay, flatten it out as much as possible. Okay. 
Now take a clean paper towel. and clean the inside of the rim where it's going to be vacuum sealed. You want to get that as dry and free of food particles as you can. Now, we'll take it over to the vacuum sealer. Now your vacuum sealer will have a uh, space okay your vacuum sealer has this area here that this has to be in to uh, for your food to seal so make sure it's in there lower your lid now I'm going to use the moist setting instead of the dry because this does have some liquid in it and I don't want the liquid to get up into the um, machine. So we're going to vacuum seal it. And it is sealed and now we write on here what um, it's completely sealed we'll write on here that's apple pie filling and the date that we made it and the date that has to be used by I'm gonna put on here six months because I want these to be used within six months So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you learned how to freeze your extra apples into an apple pie filling. Makes it an awful lot easier. Come Thanksgiving, you can just unthaw it a little bit and throw it in the pie crust and you've got your apple pie for Thanksgiving and half the time. So if you learned anything, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost anything. And like always, God bless and remember, dream big and follow that dream. Bye for now.